Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back in. Y'all already know what I'm about to do. Head out to work. And before I walk out the door, I want to um, give y'all a quick update on um, Kamora Lee Simmons and uh, that husband of hers, Tim, and that baby daddy of hers, uh, Russell Simmons. Remember, we spoke about this um, situation uh, with these folk a few days ago. Um, for those who don't know, basically, Russell Simmons is accusing Kamora Lee Simmons and her husband, Tim, of stealing his shares from a company that he and Kamora invested in, an energy drink company called Celsius. Uh, a, a reportedly, um, the Kamora and Russell um, invested millions of dollars into the company, and then Kamora allegedly uh, took the shares out of the company to, to help pay for Tim's legal bills. Remember, T Tim um, was charged with basically money laundering. You know, white people love money laundering. Huh? Um, but anyways, so Kamora's le legal team, I told y'all we was going to keep up to this because I knew, girl, I knew, I knew, and some of y'all knew that this was about to get messy. And so I was like, girl, I'm going to keep up with this story because I want to know how this is going to play out. <laughs> Hello? So this is what's going on. So basically, uh, Kamora's legal team responded to Russell's claims, and this is what they had to say. Kamora and her children are shocked by the extortive harassment coming from her ex-husband, Russell Simmons, who has decided to sue her for shares and dividends of Celsius stock in which Kimora and Tim Lesnar, which is her husband, um, invested millions of dollars. This is, this is an ill-advised attempt by Russell to use the legal system to access funds he is in no way entitled to, in which his legal team confirms Russell did not pay for. Russell's continued aggressive behavior. Girl, let me tell you something. Maybe the girls is bringing out the kids. Maybe the girls is bringing out the trigger words. First of all, girl, Kamora, girl, when they started off with Kamora and her children, I said, okay. I said, okay. This is about to get real nasty. Girl, one thing I will say, I don't keep up with Kamora and Russell like that, but I, from what I understood, they probably were like, one of the greatest examples of co-parenting, right? You know, um, business partners. And now it's like, girl, you just, it just goes to show you never really know what's going on within someone's relationship or situation because I would not, I would not, ex this was a shocker to me. It really was. She started, they started off with Kamora and her children. Girl, they bringing the children into it. Anyways, Russell's continued aggressive Aggressive behavior not only blatantly distorts the facts, but it's simply, it is a simply, I'm sorry, but it's simply a desperate PR ploy, ignoring the years of mental and emotional anguish, baby. Gaslighting and ongoing harassment he has inflicted on Kamora. Girl! Baby, they bringing out the guns, baby. They said, gaslighting and ongoing harassment he has inflicted on Kamora, baby. Rosa, I don't think Kamora is what you want. I think Kamora was your last lifeline. I think Kamora, I think Kamora is about to throw Rosa all underneath the bus. <laughs> Girl, tie him down and then hop in the bus and run him over. A damn self. Yeah. Anyways, Russell will be held accountable for his serial abuse, and we will confront his baseless claims that he is warranted. Celsius stock dividends despite his self-admitted zero contribution. This extortion attempt is especially egregious given that Russell remains contract contractually in debt to Kimura for millions of dollars in unpaid business loans. Our team is actively working to put a firm, I'm sorry, put a firm end to his harassment, which continues despite Russell having fled the country. I'm sorry, they getting Russell together. Girl, they are getting Russell together. It just, they, get to, they getting Russell together. Girl. 
Girl, they said this man is aggressive. They done said that he harasses her. They said that that, she, that he has inflicted emotional anguish on Kamora. They done said he then let the people know that he uh, done fled the country. They done brought her children into it. Girl, this is getting real dirty, y'all. Do y'all? I need y'all to. I need y'all to listen to what I'm reading, y'all. Girl, just pick through this. Girl, girl, this is getting real dirty. He will now face. He will face his own reckoning in the U.S. court. I mean, girl, I think I kind of figured that like, girl, I don't know if this Russell, if this is what you want with Kamora, because I really do believe that, you know, some of y'all say that Kamora and Russell have been dating since they was like, I think 15. I don't know if that's true or not, but I do know that Kamora was a teenager, like 18, 19, 17. It's somewhere around very, very young, especially when you compare it to her old, how old Russell was. You know, Russell like a young baby. Don't they all? Anyways, so that's the update on Kamora Lee, Tim, and Russell. Now, Drake. <laughs> Drake got a white girlfriend. Are you surprised? He got a white baby. <laughs> he do. He do. That baby look just like Drake mama. If I saw that baby walking down the street, it wasn't nothing, nothing about me would think that baby had black running through his blood. And I don't care what nobody got to say. The baby is gorgeous. The baby is gorgeous, but that's a white baby. I don't care what nobody say. That baby ain't gonna never be able to say the N word when he grow up. If he say the N word when he grow up, he gonna get beat up by the boys at school and probably even some of the girls. He can never say the N word ever. He gonna have to bring. He gonna have to bring a whole girl family tree to show people that Drake is really his daddy, and they might give him get might give him a pass then. Anyways, I don't know if Drake is if that's really Drake's girlfriend. I'm gonna post a picture so y'all can see so y'all can see white fish. I said, girl, he like all his women. Girl. One thing about Drake, two things for sure, baby. He like him a white woman with a look a little bit of a strong face. Now that is true tea. That is true tea. Now, supposedly the girl is not his girlfriend. I was just kicking. Alleged supposedly the girl is not his girlfriend. It's supposed to be his stylist. But however, when you look at that picture, I'm going to post it. When you look at that picture, girl, ain't no man put his hands on my waist unless he my man. <laughs> you hear me? Period. I don't know how y'all bitches move. Oh my girl. I'm not taking no picture with no man with his hands, girl, wrapped around my itty bitty waist. Girl, he ain't my man. Girl, friends don't take pictures like that. I'm sorry. And even if friends do take pictures like that, girl, I'm, I don't know, girl. May, I, some, I will say some of my ways of thinking are very kind of like, I just, I just don't see friends taking pictures like that. I don't see you taking a picture like that with your employee. Because technically, if she's your stylist, she's your employee, right? And I also feel like Drake is like, you had to know that when this woman posted this picture that the girls was going to talk. Like, you had to know that. So it's kind of like Drake probably just bored and want to do something. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past him. He had, a, he had a baby by a white woman. And we already know that Drake don't use condoms, right? So he tried. Let me show him. I was about to go to a whole I was about to go to a whole nother. I was about to go to a whole nother thing about Drake. I don't know. Shout out to Drake. You know, I used to think Drake was so fine. Well, no, that's a, that's a lie. I used to think Drake was so ugly. And then when he got that beard, I used to think Drake was so fine. Drake is corny to me. He's just corny to me. I don't know how y'all give Drake no pussy either. Y'all really be giving Drake pussy. I don't know how y'all do that. I don't know how and why. <laughs> I really don't. I feel like, I really be sitting over here thinking like, girl, if I had a coochie, would I, who would I give some coochie to if I had a coochie? And if I gave some coochie away, like, I wouldn't tell nobody because I would be embarrassed. I was even, girl, I was talking, girl, literally, who was I talking to? I was talking to somebody and they said that they would give somebody some coochie, but they wouldn't tell nobody, not even me, because girl, 
<laughs> it would be embarrassing, but they would definitely give the person some clues. Who are we talking? It was, I was talking to some girl, and she was saying how she would give somebody some. Oh, well, I know who it was. I just remember. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. I just remember who it was. Girl. She said she would give somebody some coochie, but she wouldn't tell nobody. Because basically, when you a bad bitch, <laughs> girl, you don't tell people you fucking people like, you know, the Drakes and the Futures, girl. You do it on the low, low, right? Anyways, girl, Lamar Odom. <sighs> Lamar Odom, let it go. Like, Lamar Odom was a guest on Andy Cohen's um, radio show. What is it called? Always Unpredictable. And he basically talked about how he misses the Kardashians, how... You know, when he was, I guess, a part of the family, that was some of the best times of his adult life. Um, he doesn't really speak to them anymore. <sighs> Lamar, let it go. It's a wrap. The Kardashians ain't thinking about you. <laughs> they not. <laughs> Girl, they not thinking about you. They not thinking about you. Maybe if Chloe would have had a baby by you, but quiet as it's kept, girl, just like Erica said. <laughs> Y'all don't think it's funny that Chloe could never have no kids and all of a sudden, boom, now she got <laughs> did that right after she uh, got uh, got away from Lamar, she ended up pregnant. <laughs> girl, Chloe. <laughs> we can say a lot about Chloe, but Chloe said she wasn't meant to have no baby by no, by no drug addict. I said, I know that's right, bitch. Um, anyways, Lamar, I think it's time for you to let it go. Um... I have heard Lamar talk about the Kardashians um, slash Jenners slash Simpsons slash Rolden. I done heard him talk about them people more than a few times. Like, probably within the last year. And it's kind of like, girl, it's it's not going to happen. Chloe ain't thinking about you. Chris, damn show sure ain't going to let it happen. So, girl, we know Chris for that whole ship. Chris and Kim. Hello? So we know Chris, I damn sure ain't gonna let it happen. So it's time for you to let it go. It's a wrap. Stay, you you with Carly Red. I forgot Lamar was with Carly Red. If y'all don't know, we talked about this before too. Lamar is allegedly dating Carly Red. When I tell you one thing for sure, two things for certain, baby, Carly gonna keep her a man. And that's on period. Shout out to Carly Red. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I gotta get to work.